In the intricate dance of relationships, the role of a father in teaching his son how to love and respect a woman is profound. While society and various influences plays a significant role, the intimate bond between a father and his son can shape the young man's understanding of love, respect, and partnership in ways that are uniquely impactful. My name is Joel Bennett. Welcome to the show called One Step. Let's talk about the journey. Only a father can truly teach his son how to love a woman. Let's look at the blueprint. In the book of Genesis, we find the story of the first man and woman. Adam and Eve living in the Garden of Eden as the distinctive narrative of the foundation of relationships. This narrative provides a framework for understanding the roles and relationships that forms the cornerstone of human life. Adam was formed from the dust of the ground and given the breath of life, making him a living soul. Later on in the very same book, Eve was formed from one of Adam's rib, signifying the intimate connection and mutual dependence between the man and the woman. Now, this story underscores the importance of relationships and the inherent order within them. Adam's role as a man sets the precedence for fatherhood, leadership, and responsibility. Eve, on the other hand, her process of creation from Adam symbolizes the partnership and unity that should exist between a man and a woman. The concept of order is deeply embedded in the fabric of human existence from the natural world to the intricate dynamic of personal relationships. One of the most profound examples of this order can be found in the roles and responsibilities within a family. Particularly, the father's role in teaching the timeless lessons to his son how to be a man and how to love a woman. This timeless lesson is beautifully illustrated in the story of the book of Genesis with the creation of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden serving as a foundational narrative to the structure of life. Dr. Michael Gurian, a family therapist and author, emphasizes the significance of the father's influence in his book, The Wonders of Boys. He writes, a father's relationship with his son sets the template for how he will treat women in his life. This modeling of behavior is crucial as sons emulate their father's actions and attitudes towards women. According to Dr. Gurian, fathers are instrumental in demonstrating a healthy relationship. A father's relationship with his son sets the template for how he, the son, will treat women in his life, says Gurian. He emphasizes that sons often mirror their father's behaviors 
learning both consciously and unconsciously how to interact with women based on their father's example. In an article published by Psychology Today, Dr. Peg Streep discusses the concept of modeling behaviors. She writes, boys who grew up watching their fathers treat their mothers with respect, kindness and love are more likely to replicate these behaviors in their own relationships. And may I say the opposite is also true. This modeling goes beyond more than mere observation. It instills other values and attitudes that shape a young man's approach to love and partnership. Fathers play a crucial role in teaching their sons about emotional intelligence, an essential component of a healthy relationship. Dr. John Gottman, a leading relationship researcher and author of Raising an Emotionally Intelligent Child, asserts that fathers who are emotionally present and communicative help their sons develop the skills necessary to understand and manage their emotions, which is super important. Gottman states, emotion coaching by fathers can help boys learn how to navigate their own emotions throughout life. So, the concept of manhood often involves a balance between strengths and sensitivity. Fathers are uniquely positioned to teach their sons that true strength includes the capacity of tenderness and also being vulnerable. Dr. James Dobson, Bringing Up Boys, emphasizes that fathers who show strength and gentleness teach their sons that loving a woman involves protecting and nurturing her, respecting her strengths while also being attuned to her needs. Now, this balance is essential in fostering a healthy, loving relationship. Sons who see their fathers express emotions often often offer supports and shows affection learn that by being a man is not about suppressing feelings but also being fully present and engaged in their relationships now to conclude the teaching of a father to his son about loving a woman are multifaceted and profound through examples of emotional guidance and demonstration of respect and equality, fathers impart crucial lessons that shape their son's approach to relationships. As Dr. Michael Gurin aptly summarizes, fathers are not just the role model, they are the first teachers of how to love now their influence is lasting and profound making reference to fathers now shaping the way their sons will love and be love the logics behind the assertion that only a father can truly teach his son how to love a woman lies in the unique influence fathers have on their son's development. Through modeling behavior, teaching emotional intelligence, demonstrating respect and equality, and balancing strength and sensitivity, fathers provide the invaluable lesson on how to build and sustain a loving relationship. While mothers, mentors, and other figures also play a significant role in a young man's development, the father's role is uniquely impactful 
due to a combination of life examples, direct teaching and the powerful bond between fathers and their sons. By fulfilling this role, fathers can help ensure that their sons grow in to a man who understand the embodied principles of love, respect, and partnership. My name is Joel Bennett. If you find value in this script, hit the like, subscribe, and share. And I just want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Let's keep doing the best in making the next generation of men better than the one before. You all take care and bye.